April 28, 2013. I am at St. Catherine Cemetery in Moscow, Pennsylvania, where Captain Patrick DeLacy is buried. St. Catherine's is part of the Diocese of Scranton. This week, it was 24 years ago, that I delivered the dedication speech written by my cousin Tony Kelly for Patrick DeLacy's Medal of Honor headstone. Here is where the story of my Aunt Betty, Captain DeLacy's granddaughter, begins. In the mid-1980s, when the government was offering new Medal of Honor headstones to recipients, she applied for one. The rank on his old tombstone was second lieutenant, the rank he was discharged with, and the rank the government would have put on the new tombstone. Well, that was unacceptable to Aunt Betty, for you see, he was known as the captain all his life. Before the end of the war, at the Battle of the Wilderness, Patrick DeLacy was acting captain of Company A. However, the paperwork promoting him to captain never went through before he was discharged. With my cousin Tony Kelly's help, Aunt Betty started a writing campaign with the U.S. government, which would take several years, but eventually, on June 8, 1987, the Department of Defense changed the rank of 2nd Lieutenant DeLacy to Captain DeLacy, and to my knowledge, making him the last Union captain.